Live drive coverage continues on News 3 Now this morning as we're talking about alert day conditions. Snow overnight, and that means for some tricky travel. I'll have an update coming up. We are also watching road conditions across southern Wisconsin. We'll show you which parts of the state are seeing the worst of it. And we continue to see the uh, snow moderate at times, especially to the uh, south of Madison this morning. We'll see how long the snow lasts coming up. Well, good Friday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning on this alert day. I'm Chris Stanford. We are up to 41 school closings now in the News 3 Now viewing area. Let's see, has Madison called off yet? It does not look like it. Uh, Madison schools, uh, by this time in the morning, they usually call off, so likely to see school. Uh, in session today, before the big spring break, we're bringing you live coverage of every angle of the spring snowstorm that we can this morning. Uh, you can see we have Josh Brider on the road. We have cameras all over the viewing area and your certified most accurate forecast standing by. Uh, a live look at the roads outside. This is the Beltline at Fish Hatchery. You can see we got a lot of snow overnight that stuck to the grass, that stuck to the ground. Uh, the pavement, though, it took a little bit longer for that stuff to start piling up. So the roads primarily this morning are kind of a slurry. Uh, this uh, one of the main roads that snow plows are going to hit this morning. Uh, we've seen a number of plow crews out there hitting main thoroughfares like the Beltline. The side roads, though, those are a different story. We're going to be bringing an update on the road conditions across southern Wisconsin in a few minutes. But first, let's get to that forecast to meteorologist Kelly Slifka with the latest. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, Chris. At, at times overnight, the snow was coming down fairly moderately. But as mentioned, the roads uh, have been mild or warm, and that's been melting a lot of that snow uh, due to the warm conditions we've had over the last couple of weeks. The moderate snow, though, now is to the uh, south of Madison. We're actually getting a little bit of drying as you go on the north side of Dane County, up into Sauk County. Lighter snows there, but headed to the south, headed uh, down toward Oregon, uh, Janesville, Fort Atkinson, seeing some of that snow coming down at a fairly good clip. So allow some extra time. We do have the first warm alert day due to about three to six inches of snow. Generally across the area, there might be a little bit more down to the south. Uh, probably will never feel like that because a lot of this is melting on contact. But we do have the winter weather advisory in effect until 1 o'clock for Madison until 4. Areas to the east. Either way, it looks like the, the bulk of the, the poor conditions are going to be coming in this morning. 29 in Madison, 30 in Wanakee, 31 in Middleton, and also Fitchburg. So the snow continues here this morning. Occasionally you see some of those darker blues. Mainly shifting to our east as we get toward the noon hour. But it, even into the afternoon, can't rule out a few snow showers or flurries, but the accumulating snow will be done with. And noticing temperatures temperatures well above freezing. So a lot of this melting as we go throughout the afternoon hour. So conditions will improve uh, tremendously by that point. Uh, 29 right now. We do have a southeast wind at 10. Noticing temperatures climbing above freezing. Going to be a sloppy commute this morning. We have had quite a few accidents already reported. Uh, you can see the belt line a little bit slow this morning. You can see the yellow showing up there. We do have an accident on I-3990 uh, at Buckeye Road. The northbound lanes in the red. So that has that left uh, lane block there. And also we do have a jacked um, a jackknife a semi trailer here on northbound I 3990. Uh, that does have the ramp closed going off to uh, uh, 51. So allow some extra time. You notice all that red on the map on I 90 uh, 39 just to the south of Madison. All right, Kelly, thanks for that update. Now let's check in on the live drive. Josh Breider sitting shotgun as they drive around Madison. Where are you, Josh? How's it looking? Hey, good morning, Chris. We're on East Washington Avenue, just past East Johnson Street, heading towards the downtown area. Right now, East Wash actually looking pretty good on this Friday morning. You can see the plow crews have gotten out to this road. Not all the roads have been tackled so far, so we have still seen a lot of snow-covered stretches out there. The interstate, the belt line, we're looking mainly good. A little slower than what you'd normally uh, be going on a normal day, as expected here with winter in Wisconsin. So do keep that in mind as you head out. Give yourself some extra time, some extra space. Uh, make sure that those windshield wipers are ready to work because a lot of that uh, splashy, that, uh, that slushy mix that Kelly's been talking about, uh, it is kind of that slurry too, Chris, that you've uh, been mentioning throughout the morning just with how everything is kind of uh, going with the chemicals on the road. So do keep that in mind as you're heading out. But right now, no major issues out there. It will be a little slower than what we typically see, though, on a normal morning commute, Chris. All right, Josh, we'll check back in with you soon. Let's take a wider look at the regional road outlook from the Wisconsin 511 DOT map. The purple and blue indicate slippery or snow covered spots. We're seeing a little bit more blue as the morning progresses and that snow keeps falling. We know that the 511 map here tends to overdo it just a touch. I would describe things across the viewing area as slushy. Uh, so 
as this changes throughout the morning, we'll keep taking a look at it, making sure that you know what to expect when you head out the door. Here's a reminder on how plowing works inside the city of Madison. If we get three or more inches, plows will hit the entire city. Crews start, though, with Madison's nearly 800 miles of salt routes. Those are the main drags, bus routes, roads around schools, hospitals, and police and fire stations. 150 pieces of equipment will be out working. As for neighborhoods, a reminder, side streets are not salted. If we do get three inches, it could take up to 16 hours after the snow stops for plows to make it to your neighborhood. Boy, the school closing situation is starting to really clear up this morning. A lot of schools adjusting their day today. Most are canceling, uh, including some big districts, including the Verona Area School District, as well as Oregon and Middleton Cross Plains. A couple are, are going virtual. We have more than 40 school closings. And by this time in the morning at 6 a.m., uh, that decision has been made across most school districts in our viewing area. To get real-time updates, though, on closures, road conditions, and live interactive radar, download the Channel 3000 weather app. It's free wherever you get your apps. Well, the Madison Streets Division will be out on the roads today, making sure you can get where you need to go. Uh, they got a lot of criticism the last time we had a big snow event in Madison. Even though it's been months since that last snow, they feel pretty confident about the situation unfolding today. We're going to be out there on those salt routes. Those are those 778 miles of main thoroughfares in the city of Madison. We're going to keep those plowed and salted like we kind of usually do. So we're ready to go no matter what the weather throws our way. The division is also saying that they've learned a lot from that heavy snow back in January. We'll hear more about their response coming up in our next half hour. Time 606. Stay with us. Our team coverage of this alert day continues as we keep an eye on your morning commute. Here's a look at East Washington at Stoughton Road. We'll have updates on the drive every 10 minutes. And Kelly's keeping an eye on when this system will wrap up today. Yeah, we are looking at the uh, snow showers to uh, continue this morning. Some heavier snows down to the uh, south of uh, Madison this morning. Uh, we're talking about three to six inches of snow. This will gradually taper off later today, but we have another system later this weekend. We'll talk about it coming up. And it's game day for Badger men's hoops. Find out why the Badgers were late for their first March Madness practice. <clears throat> You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Mastercraft makes great doors inside and out, building the highest quality doors at the best price. This bright white six-panel interior door is $139.99 after rebate. Give your home an elegant look without the mess with Palisade waterproof wall tiles. They're durable, easy to install, don't require grout, and are ideal for any room in your home. A 10-pack of wall tiles is $59.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. 
dream. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. The High V Snack Sale. This Friday through Sunday. Get Pringles, just a dollar forty-eight. Doritos, just three forty-eight. Cheese and snack crackers, just a dollar ninety-nine. And Little Debbie snacks, also just a dollar ninety-nine. Plus, get these other great snack time deals. Don't miss the snack sale all weekend long. This Friday through Sunday, only at High V. You're watching News Three Now this morning. Moving forward. Back to our coverage of the big spring snowstorm here on News 3 Now this morning. Josh Breider is on the live drive checking out the conditions. Where are you, Josh? Hey, good morning, Chris. We're on East Washington Avenue approaching the Capitol Square area. We have Bree Stevens Field right to our right. The snow really starting to come down now. Uh, that'll be interesting to see how much that starts to stack up on the roads that have actually cleared up a little bit since uh, we began about an hour ago here on News 3 Now this morning. So East Washington looking uh, just fine right now. Maybe a little slower than what we would typically see, uh, but still not too bad. Can't really complain here with winter in Wisconsin. Bell Line was looking a little slow. Interstate was looking much better. Um, so it just kind of depends on where you're at in the Madison area on what your road conditions are looking like. Those neighborhoods still are going to be very dicey that uh, mainly have not been touched. So keep that in mind as you do head out. You might have to shovel a little bit more to get your car out uh, this morning, but the main road's looking just fine. And we'll have more live drive updates for you, especially as the snow really starts to fall again and the morning commute ramps up here in the next couple of hours, Chris. Yeah, Josh Breider with a live look at the roads on East Wash as the snow starts to come down. Kelly Slifka has been watching this thing for, I mean, about the past week now. And as this thing starts to move through Madison, do we have a heavier band pushing through the city at the moment? Yeah, right now we're getting it's coming down pretty good. And I uh, just measured on this bench here, and I'm measuring about three inches of snow here so far. Uh, so if you're on the road, you're probably not going to see three inches of snow because basically the pavement is mild enough. But you see on this bench, that snow really starting to accumulate. So allow some extra time, even with the uh, snow melting on the roads. It's been coming down in a fairly good clip, so it creates that greasy, that slimy condition on the roads. So allow some extra time, especially those secondary roads. Uh, slow down and make sure you take it easy on some of those corners and also those hills. All right, right now our Doppler track showing the uh, snow band across southern Wisconsin. So you go north of Madison, it's not coming down as heavily. I actually got the plows out here already in the parking lot. Probably going to have to continue to do that with that heavier band uh, moving through southern parts of Madison. Right now down toward Verona, Fitchburg, Oregon, seeing the heavier snow in Stoughton as well, all over toward Jefferson and Whitewater. So got that heavier band of snow basically on the south side of Madison. I actually go to the north side up there at the airport. Visibility is not too bad, but you notice visibility is down to a mile in Lone Rock and also Mineral Point, all the way down to a quarter of a mile. That would indicate some heavy snow falling right now in Platteville. Of course, there might be a little bit of fog mixed in with that. All right, accumulating snow today, the first warm alert day, three to six inches generally across southern Wisconsin. I think from southern Dane County into northern parts of Rock County, Green County might actually see a little bit more than that. Once again, it's never going to feel like that because a lot of that melting on the roads, but it's creating some slushy conditions this morning. I'm not concerned about icing so much. It's just uh, that sloppy conditions on the roads. Temperatures will be rising above 32, say between 9 and 10 o'clock, and that will help conditions out as well. So a wide swath of 3 to 6 inches. Might see some of these isolated totals a little bit more than that. Once you get to into northern Illinois, the amounts taper off quite a bit. So we've got that system passing through now. A dry day tomorrow. Rather chilly. Then our next system comes in as we go into a Sunday. Can't rule out some snow with that initially. I would expect this to be a, a warmer storm system for us, so it'll be mainly some rain as we go into Sunday night and Monday. So our chances of snow do start to dwindle as we get toward the noon hour. Still some snow flurries and snow showers, but the accumulating snow will be done with at that point. So you can see on our future track, the steady snow starting to slide onto the east later this morning toward the noon hour. Still this afternoon, though, expecting some snow showers and flurries. Temperatures
temperatures well in the 30s and this time of March, even though we won't see sun, that sun uh, radiation coming through the clouds will help uh, those roads as well, melt some of that snow off and things will improve tr tremendously later today. 29 right now in Madison, 28 in the Adels, 32 in Janesville, 30 in Mineral Point and also Monroe across Dane counties, 29 in Sun Prairie and also Cottage Grove, 30 currently in Verona, Middleton at 31. First one forecast, the alert day for the accumulating snow today that tapers off this afternoon. Dry tomorrow, another system brings us a little bit of snow and then eventually changing over to some rain, maybe some uh, heavier rains Monday. Along with that, we got some windy conditions as temperatures warm in the 50s temporarily. Then we're back in the 40s for a couple days, back in the 50s later next week. I think it's interesting how this uh, snowfall has kind of developed over the past few hours. For example, when we came into work uh, a few hours ago, I mean, the pavement was dry. I mean, nothing was sticking to the pavement. It was just a little bit wet. It was on the, the grass and the, the, the ground that we were seeing some of that accumulation. Uh, it's just fascinating to see the, the pavement retain the heat and the couple, inch, a couple of degrees in temperature. Uh, makes a big uh, impact on the road conditions, Kelly. Yeah, you know, and it's it's really what's happening now is it's coming down at a fairly moderate clip, so it's it's uh, coming down fast enough, though, even though it's melting underneath, it's able to accumulate a little bit, and that creates the dicey conditions on the roads. Obviously, the visibility is down as well, so over the next couple of hours, allow some extra time, uh, definitely headed out the door this morning. Uh, definitely, definitely. Slippery, slushy, greasy out there. You can choose your own adjective. Kelly Slifka, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, looking at those road conditions this morning across the viewing area, uh, we're seeing some slippery and some snow covered stretches uh, when we take a look at the Wisconsin 511 DOT map. So if you're looking to maybe head out early for spring break, uh, pay attention to this. If you're thinking about hitting the road today, uh, road conditions around our viewing area and to the north, you see the blue uh, indicates that conditions are a little bit worse. Those are considered snow covered. The purple roads are the ones that are considered slippery. Uh, historically, though, the 511 map here tends to overdo it on the conditions a bit, but better safe than sorry. We're also showing a, a few crashes, uh, a couple, uh, one in particular on the Beltline that's slowing things down, uh, one on the interstate north of the Beltline that's also slowing northbound interstate traffic, and then uh, further south in Dane County uh, near U.S. Highway 51, we have three or four crashes there uh, that are really slowing down the commute. That's also uh, northbound I-3990 uh, uh, at that stretch. Okay, uh, now let's slow things down. See what's going on in the 608 this weekend. We got a couple of fun things you can do with your family this weekend. It's the final few days for the 2024 Spring Flower Show at Ulbrich Botanical Gardens. Oh, fresh snow on the flowers there at the garden. Uh, Ulbrich's atrium is now its own universe. Ulbrich in orbit. Check out this intergalactic journey celebrating everything space and discover an infinite array of plant inspiration. It's a creative first glimpse of spring. Tickets are $8 for adults ages 13 and up, $5 for kids ages 6 to 12. Free for members and for those 5 and under. The Rock County Historical Society is adding another session of quilts, textiles, and antique sewing machines on Saturday. The event will be held at 10 o'clock in the morning in the Tallman Carriage House in Janesville. The program features a bed-turning presentation of a dozen 19th century quilts from the Lincoln Tallman Museum Collection, a visiting display and demonstration of antique sewing machines, and a curated display of textiles. Tickets are $15 and available online. All the proceeds benefit the RCHS. Remember, we're your home for what's happening in the 608. Just go to the section of channel3000.com. You can also click on the community calendar in partnership with our friends at Madison Magazine. Welcome to Brooklyn, the site of Wisconsin's first round matchup with James Madison in the NCAA tournament. Wisconsin, of course, earned a five seed and history isn't on their side with that number. The last two times they've been a five seed, they've lost to the 12 seed in the first round. The Dukes entered 31 and three and are on a 13 game win streak and they're the trendy upset pick in this year's bracket. And while Greg Gard's squad respects their opponent, they aren't buying into the 12-5 upset hype. I don't think any of us really look at that because at the end of the day, both teams have to step between those lines and we got to play the game. So, um, like I said, we're taking it one day at a time. We're going to go prepare for them today, go over scout and stuff like that. And um, 
hopefully just come as prepared as we can tomorrow and get it done. I just think we have all the pieces. Uh, we have a great bench. We have a great starters. We have great leaders um, and then great coaching. And I just feel like this team is so connected. Um, and I think we're going to get it done. So I'm very confident in this team. Uh, we play so good off each other. When we're playing together, we're really rolling. Now, as far as the city goes, let's just say we had more luck driving to New York than Wisconsin did driving in New York. The Badgers were over 20 minutes late to practice at the Barclays Center because of a traffic jam. They're staying in Manhattan, and on their way to practice, they got stuck on the Manhattan Bridge for around 45 minutes. And let's just say this group can do without that New York traffic scene. I just kept telling myself I could never live here. I mean, it, I mean, too much traffic, people everywhere. It's like well, 1 o'clock and there's people all over the street honking at each other. I'm more of a Midwest guy. Take it easy. Let's get to get to wherever you need easily and all that. So, yeah, change the pace over here for sure. You definitely a welcome to New York moment. You know, you always hear about the traffic. You see about it in the movies, TV shows. But um, actually being here, it's, it's wild. And I'm glad I wasn't driving on the road. Meanwhile, up in Durham, New Hampshire, the Wisconsin women's hockey team is gearing up for their Frozen Four face-off against Colgate. And as Andrew Banster found out at their practice, this time of year for Mark Johnson's team, it's all about the mental game. Competing with a clear mind, it sounds pretty easy, right? And it may be in the backyard, but when you're playing for a national championship, not so much. But still, playing with a clear mind, that's Mark Johnson's message to his Badgers as they look to break their own record and win their eighth national championship. It's just trying to create that, that space where I can go out on the ice and I don't have to worry or be concerned about anything other than playing the game and doing what I'm capable of doing. If you and a bunch of my friends were playing on the 18th hole and we're playing for a beverage afterwards and you have to make a four foot putt, you know, there's a little bit of pressure, right? Now, if I take the same scenario and we go down to Augusta and you're on the 18th hole and you've got the same putt and you can win the Masters. You got 50,000 people around the green. You got the entire world watching you. It's a different set of pressure, but you're in the same moment. All I have to do is make the three foot putt. Can you make it? And Zach, even if Wisconsin fans have to wait up just a little bit later to watch that national semifinal, I promise it'll be worth it. Five of Wisconsin's seven national titles have come out here on the Eastern Time Zone. In Durham, New Hampshire, at the Women's Frozen Four, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. The Wisconsin women drop the puck at 6.30. The Wisconsin men take the court at approximately 8.40, and you can see that game right here on News 3 Now. With the Badgers in Brooklyn, Zach Hanley, News 3 Sports. Thanks, Zach. Coming up, we continue our alert day coverage here of the big spring snowstorm. Snow coming down along the Beltline at Todd Drive as a heavy band pushes through the viewing area. We'll have updates every 10 minutes, including after the break, right here on News 3 Now this morning. In our next half hour, Badger fans are in the Big Apple. We'll hear from those Badger fans on the East Coast before tonight's big game. First warm weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $2.69 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Pella's free in-home consultations make replacing or redesigning your windows and doors easy. We go beyond just measuring and handing you a quote. We take the time to listen and educate you on all your product options so you can be confident in choosing the look and functionality that's right for you. And with DesignWorks, you can see what your home will look like before you buy. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months when you order by March 31st. Set your free consultation at PellaWI.com. When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Looks like it costs a fortune. Actually, the Playscape sectional is just $9.99. Looks like it was crafted by a master carpenter. And it's just $9.99 every day. 
Looks like I can work with this. Check out those cup holders. Mm, cool. Cool. Looks like a unicorn cried happy tears all over it. Yeah, I can see that. When the looks you love go for less, there's only one thing to say. Oh my mom! Bob's Discount Furniture. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demry today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Well, Chris Stanford and Kelly's look out here in the News 3 Now patio with uh, our snowplow crew uh, taking care of the parking lot. Thank you to them and all the crews out uh, helping us get to where we need to safe this morning. It's really coming down. we got a nice heavy band coming through the city right now. Yeah, it's been uh, coming down, obviously, accumulating on some of the roads. The roads have been mild because of the warm temperatures over the last uh, several weeks, but uh, still moderate snow at times, some slushy accumulations, so watch out for some of those slippery st stretches this morning. So if you are headed off to the bus stop, the snow will taper off later this morning and just a few snow flurries or snow showers noticing temperatures above freezing most of the day, so we're not expecting... Uh, a lot of this will be melting throughout the afternoon with temperatures in the upper 30s today. Watch out those roads this morning. It does get better this afternoon and tomorrow. Another system brings us some snow and then eventually some rain early next week. All right. We've got another half an hour of alert day coverage right here on News 3 now this morning. After this. News 3 now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. They say post it or it didn't happen. But out here, in the places we were made for, you'll have to take our word for it. Find somewhere the internet's never been. With the family of Broncos designed to get you there. Choose FlexBuy on Ford Bronco Sport and get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 2,000 FlexBuy cash. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab and smile and in each five minute application you'll see whiter teeth so stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the power swabs five minute solution my absolute favorite thing was how easy it was it takes literally less than five minutes i like my smile i like my smile after finishing the power swabs this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile this is a power swab smile 
Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order power swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free power swabs quick stick pen with your order. The quick stick pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free quick stick pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. With Reynolds Wrap, cooking becomes so easy, you can feel like the chef of your kitchen. Easy prep, easy cook, easy clean. Reynolds Wrap. This morning, live drive coverage on this alert day as snow was falling across the Madison area. I'll have a live update on the latest road conditions straight ahead. We're ready to go no matter what the weather throws our way. And a chance at redemption for Madison Street crews today. Now they're preparing for the big storm today as we are hoping not to get left with that hard pack that we had in January. Yeah, that should be a problem. Temperatures are going to be mild enough that a lot of this will be melting, but we still have some moderate snow, especially to the south of Mass, and we'll track this for you coming up. And looking outside this morning, we've got about three inches out there here on the west side. If you take a look at the News 3 Now patio and welcome you in here on a Friday. Uh, a lot of schools getting a head start on their spring break. Uh, let's see, we've got 48 or so uh, school closings and delays on channel3000.com um, and a lot to get to this morning as that snow continues to come down we have continuing coverage on this alert day uh, you hear josh Breider on the live drive kelly slipka with your certified most accurate forecast we've got wider views of conditions in the region as well so now let's get to kelly slipka he is the man of the hour um, what are we going to expect the rest of the day? How much longer is the snow going to keep falling? Well, the snow is going to continue up until about 11 o'clock to noon. It looks like at least some snow. It'll probably be a lot lighter as the morning wears on. But we are still picking up this heavier uh, snow band. It's basically just to the south of Madison. It extends from Cuba City, Platteville area. See this darker blue toward Darlington, Blanchardville, Argyle. Seeing some of this moderate snow. Then on the south side of Madison, over there toward Oregon. Stoughton seeing some of that. Then it extends to the east into parts of Jefferson County, that, that uh, dark blue. And that's that band of snow that may be talking about six, seven inches of snow. I think the rest of us about three to six. And a lot of this is melting on contact. So we'll never feel like we have six inches on the ground uh, because some of that is melting. But we do have the winter weather advisory in effect until one o'clock for Madison areas to the north and also to the west. Areas to the east over there in Jefferson and down to the southeast in Rock County up until four o'clock. Alert day today for all of southern Wisconsin due to the impacts on some of these roads this morning. Slushy accumulation of generally three to six. Uh, as mentioned, a little bit higher amounts possibly just to the south of Madison. This will be mainly affecting us this morning. Temperatures down 31 in Middleton, also Pine Bluff, 31 in Sauk City, uh, 29 currently in Madison, also Monona. So that uh, band of snow will continue this morning, noticing how it does move on to the east fairly quickly as we get toward the noon hour. Still expecting some uh, snow showers or flurries this afternoon, but this will not be accumulating. Uh, temperatures well above freezing, so that will help conditions improve tremendously as we go through the afternoon and the evening hours. Uh, 29 right now with the southeast wind at 10. That snow tapers off later this morning as temperatures climb above freezing. Now, the uh, road conditions are not great. You can see a lot of red and yellow, especially on the south side of Madison. That's where we're seeing some of these uh, con road conditions uh, deteriorating along the Beltline, then along I-14, uh, Verona Road as well, headed southbound. Do have this accident. Uh, this is near Cottage Grove Road. Northbound lanes, that's on the left shoulder right now. That's where that accident is. So this jack, uh, jack knife a semi trailer here uh, northbound uh, toward 51. Uh, you can see a lot of red on I-3990 south of Madison between Madison and Janesville. So a lot, a lot of extra time this morning. Just slow down and uh, use caution on those hills and also those uh, uh, turn lanes as well. All right, Kelly Slipka, thank you. Now let's get to a close up view of the road conditions. Josh Brider is driving around shotgun on the live drive this morning. How's it looking out there? 
Hey, Chris, good morning. We're on the westbound side of the Beltline right now, approaching Todd Drive. You can see uh, we do have some plow crews ahead of us, so the Beltline looking much better at this half hour compared to what it was just a little bit ago. Uh, we're moving about 30, 35 miles an hour as expected behind the plow crews. Quite a bit of a lineup behind us, but the plows are out, uh, and we appreciate those crews getting us to where we need to go safely on this Friday morning. I do understand why a lot of those schools have made the decision to call off today or go virtual learning because a lot of the neighborhoods, a lot of those side roads, country roads have not been tackled yet and just kind of that greasy, slushy mixture that Kelly has been talking about which means slippery stretches out there across the Madison area. But if you give yourself some extra time and take it slow out there and give yourself some extra space, you'll be able to get where you're going just fine. Again, this is the westbound Beltline approaching uh, the Todd Drive Seminole Highway. You can see the DOT sign even saying slippery conditions reduce speed and that's exactly what we're doing right here on a Friday morning Chris back to you yeah how fast are you traveling out there it doesn't look like uh, Bubba's driving uh, uh, it looks like he is driving well under the posted speed limit yeah, we're going about 30, 35 miles an hour. I think at most about 40, so definitely a lot slower. But uh, at that speed, feeling pretty safe right now, especially behind all those crews making a difference out here this morning. All right, Josh Prider will check back in with you here uh, in 10 minutes. Let's take a broader view of the New Street Now viewing area and the road conditions from the 511 DOT road conditions map. You see a lot of, it's all purple and light blue that indicates Snow covered, which is the light blue, or slippery stretches, which is the purple. DOT tends to overdo things uh, just out of an abundance of caution on these maps, though. We are keeping an eye on several crashes uh, around the Dane County metro area and further to the south along uh, I-3990, where right around U.S. Highway 51, we're watching four uh, different situations there that are really impacting the drive between Rock County and Dane County this morning. Madison plow crews, meantime, are preparing for wet, heavy snow this morning. So if we get three or more inches in Madison, it will trigger a citywide plow. Madison starts with its nearly 800 miles of salt routes. That includes about half of the lanes of traffic. That includes bus routes, roads around schools, hospitals, and police and fire stations. As for neighborhoods, your side streets aren't going to be salted as usual. Plows will get to your street at some point if a citywide plow is necessary. Neighborhoods are not assigned in any particular order. All areas should get plowed. It could take, though, up to 16 hours after the snow stops falling. Well, you'll remember last time we had a big snowstorm. It looked like this. Snow packed the streets, and the city said it was best-case scenario due to the bitter cold that followed. This weekend, though, today, there's not near as much snow, and temperatures aren't going to be anywhere near what we saw in January. For today, though, still, the Madison Street Superintendent wants you to be prepared for a slow, slippery, and snow-covered commute. Because the pavement is still warm, the initial snow was melting on contact before accumulating, but things are falling fast enough Wow, where we're starting to see more snow on the roads. It's making for a pretty greasy morning commute. Still winter in Wisconsin, so we kind of knew this could still happen. So we are ready for this. Our plows are ready to go. Our trucks are loaded. So here we go. We're ready to go. So if not for this snowfall, we might have made it to the end of March without any snow, marking the first time in Wisconsin that that has happened in recorded history. Well, spring break is starting early for a lot of folks out there with it being next week. So we're keeping an eye on flights out of Dane County Regional Airport this morning. Everything's taken off just fine. Wheels up on a number of flights this morning. Everything is listed as on time, no delays or cancellations. As we continue to cover the storm and its impacts, we want you to have real-time updates. Have all that information right in the palm of your hand. If you don't have the free First Warn weather and traffic app, download it wherever you get your apps. 637 now to some breaking news from overnight in Rock County. One person is dead after a car crash in Janesville. This all started with a call to dispatch about a speeding car. At 630 yesterday evening, police tried to find the speeder but couldn't. Then, just after 7 o'clock, about a half an hour later, an officer saw the car and tried pulling it over. The driver did not stop, though. The officer chased the suspect until the car was out of sight. Later, police then responded to South Pearl Street for a rollover and found the car crashed into a building and utility pole. Again, the driver of that car died. Only the driver was in the vehicle, police say. The state patrol is helping police investigate the crash. Today marks day four of the Mark Wagner trial. Wagner is uh, charged for his role in the attempted uh, arrest turned shooting in 2022 of Quadron Wilson, an unarmed black man. 
During day three of the uh, trial yesterday, the prosecution provided evidence and pictures from the scene. They also called multiple law enforcement agents who were at the stand uh, saying what they saw that day. Listen to one describe uh, Mark Wagner right after the shooting. I'll never get the look of his face out of my mind. It was very alarming. And I have never seen any of my law enforcement partners act in that manner. The specific charge against Wagner is recklessly endangering the public. Jurors are scheduled to return to the Dayton County Courthouse this morning. In local politics now, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is challenging efforts to kick him out of office. A pro-Trump group has submitted signatures and petition trying to trigger a recall. Voss says, though, the recall effort is invalid because it was initiated for his old district, not the one he's in after the new legislative maps take effect. What's more here, both the state's election commission and Voss both say that some of the signatures are forged. The petitioners have five days now to respond to Voss's challenge. A uh, big day for Badger Athletics. You got the women's hockey team with the Frozen Four today, and the UW men's basketball team begins its journey in the NCAA tournament. Ahead of tonight's games against James Madison, some Badger fans made their way to Brooklyn to support the team early. News 3 Now's Armand Rahman was with them. Check out that New York City skyline behind me from Brooklyn. It's a familiar sight for some Badger fans and a completely new one for others, but they all came out to cheer on Bucky even at practice the day before the Marsh Madness basketball game. The band was already hyping up the fans who came to watch practice. So it's kind of a, a family a brotherhood if you want, and it's wonderful. I love it. And some of them say it's just as important to the players, too. We, you get here, the team works very, very hard all year, and I think the fans have something to do with that. Patricia Kendall and Jill Armbruster would know this year's March Madness. This is probably our 16th year together. We, we love the Badgers. We love going to different cities. We love the venues. We love just commiserating and meeting new Badger friends and always have a great time. They're making 16 years of memories while six-month-old Jack you know about <laughs> is making his first. Uh, you know, it's a perfect opportunity for him to see the Badgers up close and personal. We hope he's out there one day, maybe, if uh, he keeps growing right, keeps eating. While he kept a close eye on Bucky, his UW alum parents, who now live in Brooklyn, got a taste of home. Oh, I forced him to move. I think if he had it his way, we'd be in Madison. There's nothing like the NCAA tournament. That was Armand Rahman with the fans in Brooklyn ahead of tonight's game. So here's how you can watch the game tonight. It's a late one. UW tips off against James Madison at 840. It's right after the Duke Vermont game. The winner of those two games will face each other in the round of 32. You can watch tonight's March Madness right here on WISC TV. Our team coverage of this alert day continues coming up after the break. We want to show you here this jackknife semi at I-3990 at US 51 northbound. It's causing some major slowdowns and delays. We'll have you updated on all the traffic here in the viewing area right after this. And we continue to track the uh, snow, moderate snow at times this morning, mainly to the south of Madison. We'll see how long this will last coming up in the first morning forecast. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. Big bloomin' deals all over the store during our huge spring home sale at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 50% off lifts means big savings. Brighten up your spring with Adirondack chairs in five colors. Update your living room for just $4.45. Relax, recline, and save as low as $2.49. Save up to 50% on select Temper Adapt floor models, plus so much more, like totally free shipping with no minimum. Shop now at the Big Spring Home Sale at Slumberland Furniture. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic. Which car and driver calls fun to drive? There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. 
Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now. Moving forward. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Hey, we're back here at a quarter to seven on this alert day. It looks like we will finish with 49 school closings and delays as that spring storm continues to push its way through the viewing area. We'll get to Kelly outside in a moment with that forecast. First, we want to check in on the road conditions out there. Josh Breider is on the live drive taking a look at how the conditions are outside. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, Chris. We're on the southwest side right now. We wanted to move south because I know Kelly was talking about how that uh, heavy band kind of moved towards the south side of Madison. Definitely seeing a little bit more accumulation down here. This is McKee Road, uh, which uh, turns into PD, of course, uh, heading towards the west. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Definitely seeing some slippery stretches out there. It's a little bit more slushy over here, um, but uh, not too bad out here. A little bit of a different perspective, though, from the belt line. Again, this is the west side. Uh, definitely seeing seeing some slush out here as the snow begins to ramp up and a little bit more accumulation. We'll have another look here for you coming up. We're going to try to check out a neighborhood stretch for you for the morning sprint, Chris. Sounds like a plan. Josh Breider, check in with you in just a little bit. Taking a wider look now at the region. Uh, we are uh, seeing some slippery and some snow covered roadways out there. At this moment, the Beltline is considered slippery on our 511 DOT road conditions map. Uh, you see those uh, little icons as well with the exclamation point in them, those little circles. Those are crashes that we are also keeping an eye on. We've been seeing a few on the interstate this morning, uh, particularly in Southern Ingham <coughs> County near U.S. Highway 151. Uh, for the most part, things in the entire viewing area is slushy, some snow-covered roads. Outside, Kelly Slifka is on the patio. He's had the ruler out this morning, and he is watching that snow as it comes through Madison still. Yeah, you know, I'm uh, measuring the snow, and I'm measuring it on an elevated surface because it's cold enough to hold on to the snow. It's not melting on contact, and I've, I measured the snow here on this bench, just over three inches of snow. It's not like that on the uh, ground because the pavement has uh, been mild because of all the warm temperatures we've had over the last uh, couple of weeks. So a lot of this has been melting on contact. So even though we're expecting about three to six inches of snow, it probably really won't feel like that because of that melting that's going on this morning. All right, you go north of Madison. We're not actually seeing too much, but there's still this moderate uh, snow band that's uh, moving across southern Grand County, Cuba City, Platteville, Darlington, just south of Dodgeville, then up toward Mount Horeb on the south side of Madison, toward 
Newport, Verona, Fitchburg, uh, Stoughton, McFarland, seeing some of this heavier snow, uh, moderate snow, I should say. That moves into uh, Jefferson and on to the east. It is north of Madison right now, not seeing nearly as much, so conditions much better up there. And even at the airport, visibility is at four miles, while it's uh, quite a bit less here on the south side. And then as you get down toward Janesville, it's a mile and three quarters and a mile right now in Platteville. Uh, with the accumulating snow, we do have the uh, first warrant alert day, three to six inches generally across the area. Might be an uh, isolated total that gets a little bit higher than that, especially in the southern parts of Dane County, Northern Rock County, Green County. Could be talking about six to seven inches of snow. Moderate impacts now with the melting snow. We're not seeing major issues on the roads this morning. Just allow some extra time. Take it easy. Slow down. Make sure you, there's plenty of distance between you and the person in front of you. I don't expect any icing concerns, but clearing the snow is not going to be great because it does have a lot of moisture in it. It's got a lot of liquid, so it's going to be that heavy, wet snow. Generally, three to six inches for most areas. Some isolated totals, as mentioned, mainly south of Madison. Could be talking about a little bit more than six inches. Snow should be tapering off, though, as we get toward the noon hour. And still some snow showers or flurries in the afternoon, but the accumulating snow will be done and with temperatures above freezing conditions should improve. But we do have the snow this morning. That'll be moving out later this morning into the afternoon, then a dry day tomorrow before our next system comes in Sunday. Now, this will be snow initially, but I, I think in general, it's going to be a warm enough system that it's generally going to be some rain. It could be talking about some moderate rain, maybe upwards of an inch. And we still need the rain with some of the severe drought conditions, especially northwest of Madison. Uh, this will be with us Monday into Tuesday before starting to wind down. Our snow this morning, uh, generally light to moderate snow, occasionally a little bit heavier snow, especially south of Madison this morning. Should be tapering off at the noon hour as it moves on to the east toward Janesville and to Jefferson County. A few snow showers, though, lingering in the morning, but noticing the temperatures are above freezing, so a lot of this melting, and even though we're not expecting sun, that sun coming through the clouds this time of March will help melt a lot of that snow uh, with temperatures above freezing and just a few flurries yet this evening. Uh, 28 right now in Madison, 29 in Watertown, it's 32 in Platteville. 30 in Monroe across Dane County is 31 yet in uh, Middleton 29 in Wanakee Sun Prairie currently 28 so allow some extra time this morning the first warrant alert day due to the uh, accumulating snow some slushy uh, greasy conditions especially on those secondary roads that aren't traveled a whole lot it will improve uh, tremendously this afternoon tomorrow chilly but some sunshine 34 another round of some snow initially then changing over to some rain it looks like Sunday that'll continue to Monday as we uh, slowly creep back into the uh, 50s it looks like later next week all right, Kelly Slipka, thank you. Coming up in the morning sprint, a deadly car crash in Rock County. How police were involved. And that morning drive is looking rough. Here's a live look at the roads this morning as the snow comes down. You're in the right spot to stay informed, though. Hope you stick around. The morning sprint's next. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It took 138 iterations to refine the TIG 1 chassis, but it also took 189 pizzas and 52 all-nighters. The meticulously refined TIG 1. Get 0% APR financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 TIG 1 during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary sales event. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99. Plus, advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. Here's California banker Eric Hovde, running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California. CEO of a billion-dollar bank. Here's Hovde's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hovde was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hovde. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. You've got this. Your big moment on their big day. The dress? Another one you'll never wear. Gift? Practical. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with early pay on direct deposits. So when you get invited to your third destination wedding in as many months, we'll be there with you. When we first met Todd, we thought Jen was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you've got this with Associated Bank.
are record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Bet you didn't see that. But if you were an Atlas and could detect things in 0.02 seconds, you would have. The Atlas with Front Assist. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. You just have to get on the yellow seat. Think Sloan's first. 6.54, time for the morning sprint. We want to get right to Josh Spryder out on the live drive on this alert day. Josh. To give you an idea of what the neighborhood stretches are looking like and this is uh, what we're seeing here on the west side this morning a lot of the uh, sorry about the technical break up there here's what to expect from madison street crews today when three or more inches of snow hit the ground uh, when the storm is over plows will head out for a citywide plow uh, madison starts with the salt routes though Residential streets aren't salted and they don't get plowed in any particular order. Everywhere should get plowed if we have a citywide plow. It could take, though, up to 16 hours after the snow stops falling. We're also following some breaking news from overnight in Rock County. A person is dead after crashing into a building and pole in Janesville. Around 6.30 last night, police tried responding to a call about a speeder but couldn't find it. Then just after 7, an officer saw the car and tried pulling it over. The driver didn't stop, though and a brief police pursuit took place. Later, police responded to a rollover and found the suspect's car crashed. The investigation is ongoing. Today marks day four of the Mark Wagner trial. The DCI agent is accused of recklessly endangering the public for his role in the 2022 shooting of Quadron Wilson. Multiple agents on the scene that day took the stand yesterday. One testified that she'd never seen an officer behave in that way before. Jurors will head back to the courthouse this morning. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is challenging the pro-Trump group trying to trigger a recall. Voss says the recall effort is invalid, though, because it was initiated for his old district, not the one he's in after the new legislative maps take effect. Both the state's Elections Commission and Voss also accused the group of forging signatures on those petitions. The petitioners have five days now to respond to Voss's challenge. All right, coming up on uh, 7 o'clock as we are watching the uh, snow, ba <coughs> snow ban moving across parts of Madison, the uh, <coughs> southern areas of Wisconsin. Seeing some moderate snow. Uh, watch out for some of those roads this morning. We do have the uh, first warrant alert day. <coughs> Most of this coming in this morning. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, temperatures in the 30s, so a lot of this will be melting, but we're looking at total accumulation of about three to six inches. So snow should be out of here by the uh, noon hour or so, and then we'll see improving conditions this afternoon. Those Madison kids, uh Forced to go to school. Go today. to school. All You're right, happy right. about that, aren't jealous, you? <laughs> uh, jealous of some of those other districts that called off today. We're back in 30 minutes.